subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained for subtitles please click here on your screen tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years rehman music sheets celebrating 25 years of bande mataram main thing was uh, to get a common thing which won't involve religion or caste or anything which every indian feel proud to say aur jaisi tune chali dara 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 dekh liya yahan ko ye sab tune thi da dara dara jaisi ar ne wo wo melody gaya mere mood se foran nikla ba tu che salam for me it was very pure intention to give something people very pure from my you know my studio my heart bande mataram a 125 year old call for freedom became a chant for modern times in 1997 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of India's independence it was released simultaneously in 28 countries the first collaboration between AR Rahman and Sony Music Vande Mataram turned Rahman into a youth icon and a sensation across India and beyond we first present you a rare interview recorded in 1997 courtesy Sony Music main thing was uh, to get a common thing which won't involve religion or caste or anything which every indian feel proud to say like uh, salutations to motherland can apply to any other country also and it's not only restricted to india alone okay, when you say vande mataram it means salutations to your country and this is a song which was there for uh, quite long It's every corner of india knows and so that one line we just took and gave it a new energy for the young people to sing I mean uh, upgraded it rather say without losing the um, pure quality of it a lot of companies have been approaching me and when sony did i thought for a moment i gave a second thought and so my involuntary action was no 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 but something said that it rang a bell you know all these things came together and we thought we should club all together and make it a really huge event more than two decades later we met rehman at his house in los angeles to revisit his memories of vande mataram and its making I personally felt that um whether a person is patriotic or not there's always a kind of connection spiritual connection with a person's mother and by doing that you you kind of reflecting a larger perspective to the whole thing when you when you attach your country to it and um so also it also be, brings a kind of brotherliness to the whole thing with, because india's in many many ways we are all different every state is different religion is different caste is different all those things are different but there's a one common emotion in a family where they are like five brothers and they would have a connection with the same mother and um, i felt it is so important to to make that work and that's the reason i think even mehboob wrote matuje salam first and then it really connected both the ideas when they matter and not the other tere paas hi main raha hu apni baahe khol de zor se mujhe ga gale laga le mujhe ko phir wo pyar de tu hi zindagi hai tu hi meri mohabbat hai tere hi pairon mein jannat hai और मेरा प्लान ये था कि 
हम यंगस्टर्स को अप्रोच करते हैं यंगस्टर्स इस गाने को गाएं यंगस्टर्स इसके इसको चीखे इसको इसको इसके इसके जज्बात को अपने अपने होटो से बयान करें चीखे चिल्लाए गाएं तो क्या एंड यू वोट बिलीव एज आई वॉज गोइंग लिसनिंग द ट्यून सबसे पहले मेरे जहन में जो लास्ट आखिरी लाइन आई वो थी मातु जय सलाम और जैसी ट्यून चली दारा 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 देख लिया यहाँ को ये सब ट्यून थी दा दारा दारा जैसे ए आर ने वो वो मेलोडी गाया मेरे मुंह से फौरन निकला माँ तुझे सलाम और ये मुझे इसलिए हिट किया कि माँ एक ऐसा लफ्ज़ है जो बच्चा पैदा होते ही बोलता है और फिर एक सोच ये आई कि हम अपने मादर वतन को जिस जो जिसने हमको इतना सब दिया है हम सलाम से अच्छा तोहफा क्या दे सकते कि ओ मदर लैंड पीस बी अपॉन यू of Rahman Music Sheets now have an opportunity to connect with Mehboob the writer of Ma Tujhe Salam in the comment section write your thoughts about Ma Tujhe Salam and if you have any questions for him lyricist Mehboob will respond to some selected messages if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe it now wo ma jo hame janm deti hai और जिस मातृभूमि पर हम जन्म लेते हैं उसकी फर्क को मिटा दिया माँ तुझे सलाम ने आप क्या कहते हैं पैदा करने वाली माँ अलग जिसने नौ महीने अपने पेट में रखा और इस मिट्टी से हम पैदा हुई यहाँ की मिट्टी हमारे खमीर में आई इसलिए हम कहते हैं दोनों को माँ कहते हैं बात यह थी कि जब लिखते वक्त मेरे जहन में जो माँ तुझे सलाम आया तो मैंने अपनी मातृभूमि को वतन की मिट्टी को माँ की शक्ल में ही देखा और इसीलिए अगर आप मुखड़े पे ध्यान दें उमेश तो आपको समझ में आ गया कि सबसे प्यारी तेरी सूरत प्यारा है बस तेरा प्यार ही माँ से बढ़कर प्यार कौन कर सकता है आपको जो बेगर्ज हो जिसके पीछे कोई सबब ना हो कोई गर्ज ना हो तो वही हमारा वतन है वही हमारी वतन की मिट्टी है I believe you recorded Vande Mataram on the 27th day of Ramadan right at the midnight. Did it impact your rendering of the song in any manner? Um I think Ramadan is one of the um times when the whole month you eat on eat. I mean you eat before sunrise and then you eat after sunset. But uh the the spiritualness of the spirituality which um embeds you uh in that month is amazing and especially the 27th is supposed to be the most holiest day and um so i wanted the song to be uh, very special and i wanted to give that whatever it could take and uh, i felt doing the the chorus at that point of time would be really special personally for me so i was trying to record it and my all my engineers had slept they, they put the phones on silent and uh, so i literally had to call the director bharat bala i said come in a car and he he always sleeps at nights he doesn't he works very hard in the day and so he literally came in sleepy and said this is the record button press it i'm going to sing so when i finished it and i came out he was just crying and it was a very emotional moment
आप यकीन करो उमेश हम हैरान थे द वे ही वॉज सिंगिंग इट एंड ही वॉज ब्लास्टिंग द सॉन्ग लाइक लाइक और हम सब वो अंदर गा रहे थे मातुज सलाम हम लोग बाहर चिल्ला के मातुज सलाम बोलते थे तो उनका गाना ए का गाना यानी गाना सिंगिंग इज सिंगिंग डेफिनेटली इट मैटर्ड और जो उनकी एक हाई पिच की जो रेंज है उनकी एक मातुज सलाम के वक्त जाती है या जब भी वो उस पिच पर पहुँचते तो आपको एक एहसास एक जज्बा जगह डालती है उनकी आवाज़ तो मैं समझता हूँ कि उनकी आवाज़ का बहुत बड़ा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रहे यार की आवाज़ का एंड मैंने समझता हूँ कि उनसे बेहतर कोई इस चीज़ में कोई इस गाने में रूप भर सकता है No time. Vande Mataram became the largest selling Indian non-film album across the globe. Its title track, Ma Tujhe Salam, holds the Guinness World Record for being the song performed in most number of languages. How did you get convinced to be a part of the music video? Uh I think he was finding it tough to um because it first of all it's my album and in an album an artist has to sing so I've taken that responsibility and then um but I was not sure about me singing and but I was sure about his sensibilities I, I was trusting him because he has done some amazing work before I've seen that and sometimes when you trust people you have to believe and then not question anything <laughs> so finally when i saw it i couldn't react i didn't know whether it was good or bad till people started you know appreciating the things in india at that time music composers were not really recognized but because of vande mataram people started recognizing you you became an icon did you even realize that this was happening uh no <laughs> in my mind it was uh i was doing something which i wanted to do for a long time i wanted to do something away from films and but in a way where it's glorious and it's giving something more personal and uh, and i didn't even know about all the controversies about what the history of vande mataram was and for me it was very pure intention to give something people very pure from my you know my studio my heart and uh, i knew that many things happened after that but for us it was a very un- uh, uncorrupted pure attempt and that's why god gave us success should not merely respect vande mataram but sing it too it was with this intent that the album vande mataram was conceived in 1997 25 years later it continues to have unifying impact on india's patriotic mood and remains one of our most popular songs of all time Man's quest to reach out to all sections of India continues. The Dharavi project is a collaboration between A R Rahman and Universal Music Group. Its MD and CEO, an accomplished musician and the powerful voice of Brahma, the metal band formed in 1993, Devrat Sanyal, joins us in next episode. Stay with us.
subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.